Hey everyone, Lancelot Archer here, and today is Friday, which means Zer is back again today with his usual exotic goods. So uh, let's check out and see where, what he's got. Uh, today he's in the tower hangar, so if you go down the stairs to the tower, uh, tower to the hangar, and then uh, hangar right, you'll see him here. Alright, what has he got today? So he has a Legacy Engram helmet. Uh, he then has the Immolation Fist, which is the Titan Arms, which grants Explosive Pyre. So if you're using the Sunbreaker and you haven't got this set up with the Explosive Pyre, this gives you the Explosive Pyre setting for free. also has increased melee attack speed and increased hand cannon reload. So this one's rocking a Strength Roll, purely. Uh, max at 81. A little bit on the low side, I believe. Uh, so I believe if you're just going as a one, st uh, one type of roll as in strength intellect or discipline normally you can go higher than 81 but i think 81 is pretty much on the low side for this type of thing all right moving along we have the crest of alpha loopy which is for the hunter this one is rocking just purely intellect and it's a high one at that a 138 uh, this one obviously the crest of alpha loopies are super generates an extra orb revive and be revived faster um, this one also has the increased amount of scout, scout, scout rifle ammunition and this one increase, uh, reduces incoming void damage. So this isn't a bad one if you haven't got it. So pick up the uh, Luffy, uh, Loopy chest. And especially with the intellect rollers got on it. Especially at 138 max. So it's not a bad one. Uh, next for the Warlocks we have the Void Fang Vestments. Uh, so this is rocking a Discipline Strength roll. So Discipline max at 86. Strength max at 50, uh, 82. Uh, so this one obviously is the Spawn with a Full Grenade. Axiom Bolts gain additional Seeker. So obviously when you're playing... In Crucible, this will give you a full action bot upon revive every time you've died and come back. So, obviously, this will seek for opponents out further if you've got your Void Walker set up for Axiom Bolts. Uh, also, this has increased amount of hand cannon and re reduces incoming void burn damage. I'm saying, you know, this is for Void for Warlocks, this is a fairly good exotic chess piece. Um, many use it in the Crucible. It's kind of a new thing with Warlocks again. It used to be that they used the uh, what was that arm? Um, the, the gloves that give you the two scatter grenades for warlocks so and allow the tracking. So, But now I've seen a lot of uh, warlocks use this now, so essentially what they will tend to do is uh, throw a, the Axiom Bolt, get a couple of shots off in you, and the Axiom Bolt was enough to kill you in the Crucible. So, you know, it's not bad for warlocks. So, if you haven't got this one, do pick it up. And then, lastly, the weapon of choice is the Patience and Time. Now, I haven't seen this around since year one they brought it back in year two i believe yeah they did um but yeah this is this is not a bad sniper rifle so um what was it like 350 art damage sniper fairly fairly lowish fire rate decent impact um so this is the sniper rifle which when you gain a camouflage while aiming down the sight and your radar is active when you're looking down the sight so not a bad sniper rifle, you know, very much one that was used in year one if you didn't have the icebreaker. Um, or if you weren't lucky enough to get the icebreaker by that point, but was lucky enough to get the patient's time. So this is a fairly good sniper rifle, but um, yeah, if you haven't got this, pick it up as well. Uh, it's not a bad one. So let's move on to the ornaments. We have the Iconoclast, which is for the Invective. Okay, and then we have the Prototype again. Okay. Pretty sure this was up a couple of weeks ago, but this is for the truth. So if you haven't got it, pick this up as well. Then we've got the usual stuff. The drives, heavy ammo sense, three of coins. So make sure you pick these up if you haven't got any, and then the motes of light. So, um, yes, yeah, fairly not a bad week, I suppose. I mean, I would have said the best thing today on this would have probably been for the hunters. Like the Crest of Apalupi chest is not a bad one to have, especially with it rocking such a high intellect uh, roll. Emulation fists. Um, not too bad as a as a Titan exotic, but since I suppose the arrival of uh, Rise of Iron, you haven't it hasn't seen much action. I've seen a lot of people use more the Striker Titan setting than I have seen Sunbreakers. There are some breakers out there, but they don't really use Emulation Fist as much as they used to back in Taken King. And then obviously Void Fang Investments. If you're if you're a Warlock and you use Void and you're using the Void Walker set setting, this is one of several setups people will use. So either way, it's not a bad thing to go. I mean, obviously, with it being discipline, and you get a full uh, respawn 
of grenades when you come back. This isn't a bad one, but you can probably try and tune it for something else. Like try and reroll it with glass needles for say intellect strength or something. But you know, this isn't a bad exotic to have either way. And the weapon obviously, patience and time. Still not a bad one. But there are other better sniper rifles that won't take up an exotic piece uh, that won't take up a slot, especially an exotic slot. But yeah, these are it. Um for Black Friday sale for Zer, I gotta say not the greatest, so that's better. But you know, have a have a look around, see what we can find. Alright, so um, that was it for this Friday. Uh, I hope you all have a good weekend. And for all my friends in America, have a hope you've had a happy Thanksgiving. Take care, and I'll see you all next week. Bye.